What's up, y'all? It's your boy Cafe. <clears throat> Let's talk about it and get into it. So, so far, we have had two horror movies that have debuted this year and have kicked a lot of butt at the box office, have gotten really great praises, far as from critics, far as from fans, all over the place. Now, those two movies that I'm talking about is Alien Romulus and Long Legs. But the question that we want to talk about today is between these two movies, which one is number one and which one is number two? So that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, if y'all agree with my, if y'all agree or don't agree with my reasons, you know, hit me up in the comments. Let's have this conversation and talk about it because I welcome all of them. So we're going to start off with Alien Romulus. Now, when it was brought up a while ago that they was going to be doing another Aliens movie, a lot of people, including myself, was really not too happy about it because of the fact of all the other Alien movies that came out after two was okay, was all right, but just didn't really keep our attention like that. So when it was announced that they were doing another one, people were kind of like, yeah, okay, whatever. I won't hold my breath for this one. And when the trailer came out, the trailer really caught people's attention including myself, because when I saw the trailer, I was like, oh, okay. I said, you know, I see what they're kind of doing here. And with that trailer, drew, sorry, it drew people to the movies to see this. And from beginning to end, it kept your interest. It did not disappoint. I could not find one thing wrong with it. I enjoyed it from beginning to end. The cast was on point. The special effects, the cinematography was very well put together. Fed Alvarez did such a great job with it. You know, everything about this Alien movie was what it needed to be. You know, he took it back to what Alien really is. It's not so much as this action movie it's a horror movie and he fed alvarez took it back to those horror roots and i'm glad that he did do that because sometimes when you're doing movies and you know you lose tracks when they try to make all these reboots and remakes they lose track of what it really is so fed alvarez was like you know what i'm not gonna do all that i'm gonna take it back to what it really is and with that we see the success has been having so far at the box office is still uh, having a good run. Now, some people say it was a couple of things that they didn't like about it, you know, but for me, I couldn't really find anything bad about this film that I didn't like. Like I said, from beginning to end, it was really good. The cast did such a great job. The story was a solid, entertaining story, but when it's an alien movie, we already know what the story is, so it's not like they're going to have this really deep, great story. You know, it's predictable. We know what's going to happen. Yeah. But overall, like I said, it, has no, it, has, it hasn't disappointed. Still going good at the box office. And if you have not seen Alien Romulus, you need to check this out. So I would say out of the Alien franchise, the first Alien, Aliens and this one are the top three movies in the franchise. The other ones, eh, but these three, definitely a must watch. The next is Long Legs. Now, when Long Legs came out, it wasn't that much promotion for Long Legs. They heavily relied 
on the internet for this and word of mouth. And so far it has worked out because Long Legs has been a success far as with the critics and it's been a success at the box office. Now, it's written and directed by Oz Perkins, which is Anthony Perkins' son. So I was shocked about that. And it stars Blair Underwood, Nicolas Cage, and I'm um, sorry, give me one second, guys. I got to find out the, the female lead's name here, which is Micaiah, if I'm saying that correctly, Mikaya Monroe. If I mispronounce your name, I apologize. She's the lead role in this film. And it's about <clears throat> it's about a about a group of about an FBI agent trying to take down this cult serial killer. Now, when this trailer came out, it was kind of like, uh, okay, interesting, but it wasn't enough to say, I got to see this right away. But the word of mouth spread it with the trailer that they, and also whatever marketing tactic that they use on the internet, it definitely blew it up to the point where people wanted to go see it. So, and even myself, when I saw the trailer, I was like, okay, it looks interesting. I'm going to check this out. But it wasn't like something that drew me to like, I got to see this like Alien Romulus. Like, I got to go run to the theater, check this out. But sitting in the theater watching it, it was nothing that I found wrong with it. I was just blown away. You know, one with the cast, the cinematography, the uh, just how everything was put together, even with Nicolas Cage, the role that he played as Long Legs, which was crazy because the way that they had him, the makeup on him, it did not look anything like Nicolas Cage at all. So that was another thing that made this movie such an awesome movie. And it's one of these movies where it kind of got that Silence of the Lambs vibe to it. But just the whole premise of the film and everything that was going on, it was definitely a suspense, edge your seat movie that you didn't know what was going to happen. You didn't know which route they was going to go. It was like, you think that they're going to go right, but they're going left. And there was a lot of twists and turns up in the film that caught you off guard because you would think that things is going to happen this way and you would think that it was going to end this way or this is what's going to happen and it didn't do that at all. The writing was really good. This is one of those movies where it really it's a it, it really makes you think and i love movies like that that makes you think it mentally it mentally plays a trick on your mind to for you to wonder like okay where are they going with this um why is this happening why is that happening but then once it, the pieces all get put together in the end you be like okay i did not see that coming i was not expecting that and even when the movie was over, you kind of left out the theater kind of puzzled, like, damn, what did I just see? Whatever it is, I have no complaints, but it definitely kept my interest. So, Long Legs, if you haven't seen Long Legs, definitely check Long Legs out. This one is another must-see. They shot this movie on a $10 million budget, and the movie has made over $100 million so far. So what does that tell you? It tells you that you have to check this out. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. So with that being said, judging these two movies and seeing which one will be number one and number two. Now, I know some of y'all may not like my decision, but like I said, if you don't, 
let me know in the comments. Let's have a conversation. So I'm going to say this. Number two is Alien Romulus in my book. And number one is Long Legs. Because so far, out of all the horror movies <clears throat> so far that's been released, these two are the top two horror movies in 2024. You know, unless something else comes out that's going to uh, take this place or try to knock them out the way. But so far, these two have definitely been at the top, have definitely uh, shot to the top. People have been very, very pleased and happy with these films. It seems to the point where people have gone to see these movies not just once, but even twice. So that's just my pick. Now, I know some of y'all are saying, well, why would you pick uh, Long Legs as number one, Alien Romulus is number two? Now, with Long Legs, because Long Legs was one of those movies that, like, is that it came out fresh, new. It was a different spin on far as suspense and uh, crime dramas. And like I said, Nicolas Cage, the cast, the story, the way it was all put together. That's why I say in my book in 2024, it's the number one horror film this year. Number two, why did I pick Alien Romulus? Is because Alien Romulus, you know, even though we know the story of aliens, and, you know, it was still a good movie. But, like I said, Alien Romans is a franchise that's been out for a while. And they had a couple of movies in their franchise that didn't do so well. You know, and they bounced back with this one. Thank God they did. So that's why I made Alien Romans the number two uh, best horror film this year so far. So those are my picks and how I feel about it. Y'all let me know if you did see Alien Romulus and Long Legs. What was your thoughts about it? Which one do you think is number one and number two for the best horror film this year? Let's have this conversation. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned.